Thanksgiving in America. A time to give thanks, but also the National Day of Gluttony. Every year in America, Americans dedicate a special day to stuffing ourselves to the brim as we try to forget our ever-growing waistlines. Every year, one moron decides to test his eating abilities by having his quote-unquote cheat day on that very day. He films the entire process of food carnage for a 24-hour spin. With the help of fast food, chocolate, and lots and lots of turkey, this man hopes to film the greatest cheat day in the history of Thanksgiving. This is Cheatskin. Wait, it ain't Christmas yet. Let's fix this. Much better. What is going on everybody? Eric the Electric coming back to you guys again. My Electric Empire with another video. Everyone, it's just, it's it's that time again, folks. It is time for Thanksgiving, but more importantly, it's time for Cheatsgiving. That's right, everybody. You've all been asking, Eric, when is your next cheat day coming out? We want to see another cheat day. And guess what, guys? The time is now. Three years ago, I filmed my first Cheatsgiving video. I combined a typical cheat day with Thanksgiving and made Cheatsgiving. Here in America, Thanksgiving is basically the day of gluttony. We Americans just make the national obesity epidemic even better and just go out and stuff our faces with as many calories as possible. To all my younger followers out there, please just don't do what you're about to see. Cool, that's your little disclaimer. Because I've had so much calorie carnage this year, I figured, you know what, I'm not gonna be doing a calorie challenge this year. I know guys, I know. I'm actually gonna go out and enjoy myself and have some fun. But don't worry people, it's still gonna be a lot of calories because this wouldn't be an Eric the Electric video without all the calories, right? The rules for this video are quite simple. Rule number one, I have 24 hours to complete this challenge. I will be showing the date and time on my phone. Rule number two, liquid calories, guys, come on. We're gonna minimize those as much as possible. Rule number three, I'm gonna be using as much Thanksgiving themed food as possible, which means a lot of turkey, a lot of cranberry sauce, and a lot of pumpkin. Rule number four, I'm gonna be using as much fast food as possible because guys, Again, it wouldn't be an Eric the Electric video without all the fast food people. And that's just it, everybody. No more talking. Without further ado, everyone, it's time for cheats giving. Let's do this. You guys know the drill. Every cheat day begins with the essentials. I'll be needing this. It's not even Thanksgiving yet. We already had these out. Sunlight is fading. Tomorrow, cheats giving begins, and we gotta get all the essentials. It's time to get to our next location. That's right, we're here at Costco, and we're here for one thing and one thing only, turkey. It's not Christmas yet, it's not Christmas yet. Yes! Ugh. I undercooked my turkey last year, so no thanks. Now we've got our turkey, it's time to get to our final destination. You guys know it, we gotta get the essentials. Manager special, $1.49. I heard this is how you eat clean. I know that wasn't funny. Yes. Alrighty, everybody, now we've gotten all of our essentials. Tomorrow we begin Jeans Giving. Ugh. Well, almost 6.45. It's time to make the magic happen. I gotta get this appetite going. I can't go ride my bike looking like this. It's time to get started. I'm getting too old for this. I'm ready for Christmas. Just like that, the ride is all done. And I think it's breakfast time. How do I love people? Stupid? I know, I know, very, very stupid. It is currently 11.04, Saturday, November 10th. Now it's time to get breakfast started. Any of the ranch Bernardo? You guys have pumpkin spice pancakes? Okay. And then you guys also have a, uh, like a pancake, uh, the like breakfast, or pancake, like puppy balls or something like that, I don't know. Yes. Pumpkin pancake puppies. That's right, perfect. Let's go ahead and do 10, please. Okay, see you soon, bye-bye. We got donuts to eat. It's time to get this started. Hi there, so you guys have your new pumpkin donuts still? Yes, we do. Okay, I'm gonna get nine of those, please. Two chocolate ice glaze with sprinkles and a cinnamon bun, please. Uh, we don't have any more of the cinnamon bun. We stopped selling those. Okay, could you make that a strawberry ice glaze with sprinkles, please? Yeah, certainly. Perfect, thank you. Awesome, thank you very much. You're welcome. Have a good day. It's time for Denny's. Thanks so much, ladies, have a good day. Yeah. Everybody always loves a shirt. Now nah, everyone, we got our food. It's time to get this home and get this all presentable. Mm -hmm. 11.30, I gotta get this started. Whew, and look at that, people, we got us some fast 
food, of course, people, because this is Cheats Giving, all right? We do not mess around with Cheats Giving. Just in case you guys want to see right here, it is currently 11.42. I just got to get all this unwrapped, people. This smells amazing. It smells sensational. It's unsweetened. We got to watch our calories, remember. Coffee. Decaf. Come on, people. We wouldn't want to get too crazy. Of course, come on. We, we had to get some hostess love in here, all right? Summoning the power of Dragon Ball Z. Alrighty, everyone, so I have a gigantic bag in front of me and a lot of sweets right here. I said I wouldn't be doing any pumpkin spice after the fall card collection, but yet here we are. Are you all ready for it? Are you ready for it? Are you ready for it? Oh, uh, 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 you, this wants to f***ing open. This never wants to open. Why do they always do this to me? It's like a barrier to my Krispy Kreme fixation. Look at that, people, look at it. It is deliciousness right there. All in one box. <clears throat> it's scrumptious. Can't believe I just used the word scrumptious. Oh well, but here we are, people. One cream cheese, two whipped creams, a second whipped cream, yeah, that's actually cream cheese, what do you care? And a ton, ton of syrup. And it's not sugar free. So, let's see what we got in here. Oh my goodness, look at it, people. Those smell like pumpkin and they are pumpkin cream cheese puppies. I don't even know what these are called, but they look like hush puppies. Put that right there. Our monster 1200 calorie breakfast. Here we go, look at that. That looks very, very, very anti-climatic. Climatic, climat, climat, climat. I never can get that word right. But just so you guys know, it doesn't stop there. What they do right there is they fool you a little bit because underneath that is your healthy, not so healthy eggs and sausage and like one strip of bacon. So they try to fool you, but you're not gonna fool me, all right, Denny's? You are not fooling me. So everybody, the huge thing if you're not in America, you're not used to celebrating Thanksgiving like we do here in America, is we usually get turkey. It is the day of gluttony after all here in America. But guess what happened last year? I f***ed up. Excuse me. I messed up. The amount of people telling me I undercooked my turkey, which were actually, it's true, I did undercook my turkey quite a bit. I just couldn't deal with it again this year. So guess what, guys? I went the easy route. I bought my own three pound turkey that's already cooked. I'm gonna name him Julius, all right? This is Julius. Everyone say hi to Julius last year. Paul, rest in peace, Paul. Shout out to my, my turkey, his name is Paul. Paul, say hi. Yeah, that, that was last year. I found that clip on Snapchat. Well, speaking of which, if you guys haven't already, I gotta, I gotta update the Snapchat and Instagram crew. Let them know what we're doing right now. If you guys haven't yet, you guys gotta follow me on Instagram and Snapchat. Snapchat crew, next video. Now, this is gonna be the first meal of the day. It is currently 11.54, so basically this is brunch fest. Yeah, I, I think that's a word. I'm gonna have some of this turkey. I'm gonna space this all throughout the day because I don't like to take in a ton of protein for my first meal. Let's get this underway. I'm hungry, bike ride this morning. You guys know, you guys gotta give the video a like if you poop today. Oh, it's not focusing, no it's focusing. There we go, people. Woo, that looks sexual. Alrighty, folks, so we have our first meal right here. Now, what I want you guys to do down below is comment down below what you guys want to see for Christmas. If you guys want to see Christmas, if you guys want to see an ultimate Christmas challenge, if you guys want to see me just stuff more fast food into my mouth, whatever, you guys got to let me know down below. Now that we've gotten that all out of the way, people, I will start off by saying the total calories for this meal right here, those are going to be listed like right there for you guys. Total macros, those are going to be listed like right there for you guys. And also, because you guys always want physique updates, this is what I look like this morning. I forgot to let you guys know that. Stay tuned at the end of the video if you guys want to see what it looks like after all this. Now, without further ado, everyone, this is meal one. It's time for cheats game. 12, 16, now 12, 17. Way to go, Eric. And the question on my mind is, what do I want to start with first? I think we got to go with Denny's. I just want to call them pumpkin spice hush puppies because that's what they are. People, this is what a hush puppy is. And just like that, everyone, we're ready to get this underway. I do have to ask you guys a question, though. What did the wounded turkey say to the chicken? Wobble, wobble, wobble. Phew, got him, I'm so good, I know I am. If you guys didn't cringe at that, I would be very surprised, but let's get this started. Yeah, you can't see it, but oh well, it's good. Really, really good. Those hush puppies or whatever they are are down. Now, I think we just gotta finish the Denny's. These are two very mediocre looking pancakes, but it's okay, Denny's, I know what you gotta do. Sometimes you just gotta push out orders on a Saturday. The restaurant's busy, but goodness gracious, look at it. Oh, man. Whew. There's nothing like that syrup pour, though. It's almost as good as a milk pour. And then, what you guys gotta do. That was very, again, anticlimactic, Eric. Oh, oh, coming out quick. And here we go, people, just like so. It's fire. And you guys know I had to do it eventually. This is a egg pancake. It's an egg cake. 
Oh, look at it. Look at the yoke flow. Look at that flow. Look at it go. Oh, we don't want to lose any calories. Come on, guys. Handle it. Very, very messy. But man, look at that. That is egg destruction right there. What you guys got to do right there is just put, put some bacon, some healthy, actually not so healthy bacon. Oh, and we got some hash browns like so. Did they give me any ketchup? If you guys are team ketchup, you guys gotta comment down below. I have no idea why I'm eating this with my hands, but guys, this is not the most glamorous lifestyle ever. So bear with me. Oh, this isn't reduced sugar? I spilled some. You guys gotta make sure you don't lose any calories. All right, guys, well, the hash browns are done. I really should've just said no hash browns because it's a very filling carb source. Gotta get some Goku. Now I think it's time for the Pop-Tarts. And I just want to give a big shout out to Kellogg's for sparing me 12 instead of 16 this time. Look at that, guys. That is pretty cool. And no, no matter how many of you constantly berate me in the comments about toasting Pop-Tarts, I don't think Pop-Tarts are any better if they're toasted. There we go, that's, that's Pop-Tarts right there, people. And here we go. Pop-Tart time. Wow. We have it, folks. Our first W-O-W -W moment. And I don't, I didn't think I'd get that from a pop jar, people. Wow. Wow, indeed. <sighs> pop tarts, why? Why, 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 why? I'm <sighs> because I just got obliterated by pop tarts. Last one. Well, the Pop-Tarts are down. That was probably the worst decision to do that this early. <clears throat> All right, so just so you guys know, 1,500 calories in this entire turkey. It's a juicy turkey. You guys are probably so turned off right now, but in order to get some calories in, you gotta balance between savory and sweet. Say hello to Julius. That's a very robust turkey. No, I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna eat this entire thing right now. Space it out throughout the day. You gotta make, you gotta optimize your protein consumption, people, all right? piece of this right here. Let's do this. Julius, you taste really good, all right? All the vegans are probably crying right now. It's a lot of turkey. Oh, all right. One little slice, one last slice before we get to lunch. This is basically lunch. Oh, well. Let's try this out. People, this wants to focus. That is fire. All right, guys, well, caramel apple, hostess, whatever they are, cupcakes are all down. Now we gotta move to the donuts. Now I know a lot of you have been wanting to see what these look like, what they taste like. Six out of 10. <sighs> I gotta do it. Mm. You can always do this too. That's how they should be eaten. Our last one. Oh, it doesn't fit. Now, gotta move on to these last three. It's fine. That was quite a breakfast. Currently 12.59 right there, same day, of course. Now it's time to get my health and fitness one. <sighs> I'm gonna look like such a jackass wearing this at the gym. You guys know me, I gotta teleport. Yeah, I definitely look like an idiot. And this is the part where most of you tune out, but I gotta get my health and fitness on. Alrighty guys, so 2.45, it has uh, already been a very long day. We're off to our next stop, people. And let me just tell you, this has zero relevance to Thanksgiving. But I'm coming here anyways, because I love it. Jack in the Box. I love the Jack in the Box. Hey, how's it going today? I'm gonna go ahead and do five of your original tacos, please. And then I will go ahead and go with a sourdough jack, please. Just the burger. Let's go ahead and do 10 piece chicken nuggets, please. 10 nuggets? Yes, please. And that is going to do it today. And if you guys don't know already, Jack-in-the-box tacos are the best fast food tacos. I don't care what you say. Hi, I've got four, ta uh, four tacos, a sourdough jack, one taco, and then 10 nuggets. 
It was five. Yeah, two, four, and one makes five. You mean you want two, four, six, eight, ten tacos? No, I, I meant five tacos. So we only given you five. Okay, that's perfect, that's where okay. I want. Okay, did you want any sauce? Uh, can I have extra ranch, please? All right, you are all set. Thanks Thank so much. You, and you have a good day. You too, all right? Thank you. Bye. Now everyone, it's time to go to our next destination. Looks like everybody wanted to go to McDonald's today. Hi, lady. Ooh. And hey, we're here at McDonald's, people. This is gonna be a late lunch, but a much needed one. The sandwich, the myth, the legend. The McRib, I've never had a McRib before. I'd have to just go in on that. Hey. Hi, what's up McDonald's, what are you doing? Sorry, the sprinkler is spraying me. Oh, I'm sorry about uh, that. It's all good. So I'm gonna go ahead and do three large orders of fries, please. Three large fries, anything else? And then three Big Macs, please. 20 piece McNugget, please. What kind of sauce? Let's just go ahead and do ranch, please. Anything else? Let me just go ahead and do one McRib, please. And then three apple pies. That will do it today. Are there, actually, I forgot a Diet Coke. Can I get a Diet Coke? Uh, let's just go ahead and do a medium, please. I just want my Diet Coke. Thank you very much. There's something about McDonald's Diet Coke that just tastes absolutely sensational. Thank you. Is that it? Thanks so much. It smells like Ronald McDonald and whoever Mr. Jack is a Jack in the Box just made love in my car. Woo! It's time for meal number two. Woo! Well, people, it is 3.33. That's a weird, odd time. I hate this time change. It feels like it's already nighttime and I'm just eating lunch. It's time to get this all presentable. I have visitors? What is this? Cookies? Well, let me say, people, I, I'm excited because I have cookies. I wasn't expecting to get a package at all today. This is, uh, this is crazy. It's just from my good friend, Mr. Brad Bromlow. Brad is the man. Oh, goodness gracious. You guys know how much I love cookies. I love donuts as well. I can't say that I'm team cookie or team donut because every time I try something new on either team, I just end up just blowing it. Oh my goodness. And this is called the Basic B. This is a four and a half ounce cookie, and that's gonna be a lot of calories. Probably gonna be like 600 minimum. Another basic B right here. Brad's killing it with the basic Bs. And this is the lunch lady right here. Oh my goodness. Four and a half ounces, man. That's, that's a little sugar, man. Whew. Because guess what? We also have some M&M hot cocoa M&Ms right there. We also have some apple pie Oreos right here. I don't know which one. I think I, think I should save the apple pie Oreos for tonight because I'm gonna be having some pie. That means you should stay tuned to the end of the video. We're gonna have a pretty good dinner planned. Now everybody, to our fast food. Let's get this all unwrapped. Large fry number one, large fry number two. Actually guys, I I'm, I'm curious. How many of you down below actually think they got my order right? Right now, comment down below, do it. Drum roll please, drum roll please. I've never had a McRib before people, but we're gonna see what it looks like right now. Woo, that looks like, oh, it's got pickles on it. Big Mac number one, Big Mac number two, Big Mac number three. 10 nuggets, 10 nuggets. In case you guys don't know what a Taco Bell taco looks like, oh my goodness, look at it, people. It looks delicious, and it's terrible for you. And then look at that, we have, I wanted I wanted to do a little comparison here. We have Jack in the Box nuggets versus McDonald's nuggets. And this is the sourdough Jack right there, people. Look at that, look at the bacon goodness inside. We got some healthy vegetables. We have some mayo, or what looks like mayo. Oh, and how can I forget Julius? I got my cashew milk over here, of course. I have some Diet Cherry 7-Up because I already have some Diet Coke, so. Oh my goodness, man, look at that. Look at that cheesiness right there, people. Can we just take a moment, look at that. Look at that cheese. Oh my goodness. Beats in and out, I guess, right? At least for right now. Alrighty guys, well this is the point in the video where I can say the total calories for this meal we're about to consume right here is gonna be listed like right there for you guys. And total macros, that means carbs, protein, fat, those are gonna be listed like right there for you guys. Without further ado everyone, this is meal two. Let's do this. Alrighty guys, so we have everything in front of us. I had to take some quick thumbnails. I'm actually, what I'm gonna do is save one of these cookies for dessert tonight because I don't want to mess myself up too mad. How about we save the basic bees for tonight for dessert? Oh, Julius, what are you doing, bro? I can't believe I just called this turkey a bro. Ooh, yum, that is healthy protein right there, people. Now, everyone, I got my Big Mac right here, and I was watching a video from one of my favorite YouTubers, Mr. Dame Drops, and he, he did something monumental 
Just listen closely, people. What he did is he got a Big Mac, just like so, just like this. And of course, you know, I'm me and I'm team no pickles. So guess what, guys? I take the pickles off. See these pickles? Goodbye, pickles. Goodbye. Put the patty back on, like so. And then you get a little sliver, actually not so little in this case, of turkey, just like that. And boom, you have it. You have a Thanksgiving Big Mac sandwich, people. Can we just show some love to Dame Drops right there? If you guys haven't checked him out, go check him out. He's one of, one of my biggest inspirations right there, you guys. This is, this is Thanksgiving right here, people, all right? Look at this. And that's just where we're gonna start. And my friends and family, that is a Big Mac turkey fried. And now I can say fitness. Fitness whole turkey Big Mac sandwich in my mouth. Let's do this. You guys already know, it's fire. One Big Mac down. Let the games begin. You gotta rancherize people. Look it up, it'll be in the dictionary soon. Big Mac number two, cleanse the filth. Get rid of that pickle, those pickles. Forgot how much Big Macs weigh. Whew. All right guys, now it's time for this to make rib. I, I think I'm gonna be regretting ordering this. Ooh, take this pickle off right here. So that, my friends, is a McRib from McDonald's. It's tasty. Let's just sample this. Eh, not getting this ever again. Thankfully, ranch makes everything better. Oh, McRib's done. I'm gonna get to get to the rest of this McDonald's. Poor, poor choice for me to get this turkey. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. Why did you give me 13 nuggets? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Why do I have 23 nuggets? Oh, gosh. Hmm. And here we go. That is a golden, flaky McDonald's nugget. I have to say, everybody, it's a lot more than I thought. I know this is a cheat day. I'm not gonna turn down free nuggets, so I'm gonna eat all of these. I am very curious about Jack in the Box nuggets because I haven't. Did I just really do that? Oh, I don't wanna get up. Oh. oh. <sighs> Nugget down. I lost calories. <sighs> oh. Well, I have been very, very curious to see. I haven't had Jack in the Box nuggets in a while. So I can ask you guys right now, this is the point of the video. Are you guys team are you guys team Jack in the Box or are you team McDonald's when it comes to nuggets? Me, I'm team McDonald's, but I do like Jack in the Box. Nuggets are all down, people. Getting a headache again. I think we gotta try some of these fries. You guys know McDonald's fries are one of my favorites. Well, if you don't know them, now you know. But comment down below what your favorite fast food fry is. That was rough. I'm gonna need some ketchup. You guys know ketchup goes with everything. You guys already know, reduced sugar ketchup crew. It's about to get crazy up in here. Oh, I just got on my finger. Oh, that's gross. Gotta watch our calories somehow. There we go. Very, very poor decision to get this many fries. All right, people, all the fries are done. I'm gonna get something sweet into my system. This is the sourdough jack, and what we're gonna do right now is remove this because I do not want that right now, taking up stomach space. And then we have one more left. All this bread to be in my system right now, and all this starch, but I gotta do what you gotta do. A piece of bacon just fell in my cup. I'm not using that anymore. Ooh, go, cool. Don't judge me for what I'm about to do. This is competitive eating people. Try it sometime. Well, doesn't this just look like a plate of health and fitness right here, even though it's not on a plate? Oh well, this is a Jack and Box taco, people. These are amazing. If you haven't tried them yet, I'm what you're missing. Just like so, ranch dressing, taco just like so. And we have it again, W. W moment. Woo! Just 
just like that. All the tacos are down. Now we have the apple pies. If you guys all recall in my McPizza video I put up about a month and a half ago, these things are. Oh, and I think they're vegan. I'm actually serious, I think they're vegan. Boom. This is getting to be way too much. Guys, in case you haven't realized yet, few of you are still here after I just dunk my sourdough jack and diet seven up. Dunking it really helps it go down a lot easier. That tastes so much better. Oh gosh. The lunch lady and a hot cocoa oven. I'm saving the rest of my sanity for dinner. I gotta try out the lunch lady here. I gotta see what the lunch lady is all about. Or should I try out the basic B? Let's just do the lunch lady right now. Just forget that I said that. So this is the lunch lady right here. The lunch lady, oh my goodness, look at that, people. That is a work of art from Fat and Weird Cookies right there, people. Are you ready for this electric empire? Look at it, look at that inside. What's inside, what's inside? W, O, W, fire, fire, fire. Woo, that is amazing, absolutely amazing. And here we go, people, oh goodness, look at it, it's glorious. I'm still regretting getting these right now, but these are the M&M hot cocoa M&Ms. Let's see if they taste like hot cocoa. Oh, it's cute. There's like a white center. You guys can't even see it. Whatever. Oh gosh. I don't even want to look at that turkey right now. Well, everybody, meal number two is done. Focus on me, focus on this. This is why it's so hard to show time. 444, still the same day. That was more than I anticipated. Total calories consumed are even less like right there. Macros consumed so far are even less like right there. I just hope I survive until dinner time. Now, I did mention I have something in store for dinner. I gotta go to the store first though. We're gonna get some more essentials. Not gonna happen. I've had enough meat today. The real reason I came to the store tonight, what goes with every turkey. Last bag of essentials. It's time to place our order for pizza. Mm -hmm. And it's time to order some pizza, people. I got my fat boy hoodie on right now. I'm way too tired to go get this, so I'm gonna get it delivery. Thanks for calling Pizza Hut. Huh? Just want my pizza. <laughs> So You're right, I do. One eternity later. Two hours later. You already know what pizza you want, so let's focus on dessert. Hi there, I just want to place an order for delivery, please. Under Eric? Yes, that's me. I'm gonna have a medium pepperoni pizza, please. All right, everybody, I'm gonna get home and marinate for a little bit and wait for my pizza to show up. And then it's time for the final meal. Mm -hmm. Man. It's been a long day. Oh my goodness, people. I just feel like, oh, just vegging out. My girl hustle hoodie. What's that? Ah, oh, pizza must be here. Pizza delivery. Oh. Thanks. You look familiar. Have I seen you before? I don't think so. Oh, here's your tip. Only 10. Whatever. Well, that was weird. I could have sworn I've seen that person before. Here we are for meal number three, everybody. And let's do this. Ready? Ready for it? Whew. Just look at this pizza. It's glorious. But in my opinion, it's lacking a little bit. Let's we'll spruce this up in just a second. We got the Oreos right there, unfortunately. I have a massive headache right now, but it's okay. It's all good. Diet Pepsi for some health right here. We also have some cranberry sauce, which I absolutely despise, but you guys will see where I'm going with that in just a second. Some gravy as well. They were on sale, all right? They were on, they were on sale, okay? When they're on sale, I'm gonna get them. We have some fat and weird cookies, of course. Two basic bees right here, because I'm extra basic. Your sugar ketchup and I did get a nice care package from a subscriber in my PO box I love when you guys send me stuff. I have the best coolest job in the world I love it and I love getting things from you guys So shout out to Krista who sent over not just a Reese's bar, but my very own Electric Empire mug look at that people absolutely insane I actually did an unboxing on my second channel the electrics if you guys haven't checked it out yet go check it out Link is in the description below people. We have a lot of food still and guess what people speaking of more food We have a pumpkin 
Are you serious? Did I really get the no sugar added? Wow, I got a no sugar added pumpkin pie on accident. I swear guys, I swear I did not see the no sugar added. Absolutely ridiculous, no sugar added pie. It's actually the same amount of calories as a normal pumpkin pie, so it doesn't even matter. More importantly, people, I need to spruce up this pizza and I need to make it electrical. You gotta add turkey, people. This is Thanksgiving, all right? A few moments later. Da, da, da. That is our pizza, everybody. Look at that creation of Thanksgiving festive cheer. I'll put that right there. I have a little bit of turkey left, everybody. We have the final meal right here in front of us. Go away, fly. Thank you. This is the Thanksgiving themed pizza. That's right guys, Thanksgiving themed pizza. We have some pumpkin pie, no sugar added of course because we gotta watch our calories and everything. I have no idea how many calories I'm at currently but I know it's definitely quite a bit. Quite a bit. I do have some gravy over here. You just, guys, just stay with me, all right? We're gonna go with the Thanksgiving theme. We got some cookies, we have some apple pie Oreos we gotta finish off, and then I got some cashew milk right here. What I want you guys to do right now, down below, if you guys are still with the flow of the video, comment down below, pumpkin. All I can seem to taste in my mouth right now is pumpkin. Summon the power of Goku one final time, guys. So glad this is gonna be free. Oh, hope it fits. Do have some more turkey over here, of course. Oh, and I almost forgot my other cup. Can't forget it, people. Give the video a like if you poop today. It is currently 7.13, still the same day. It's time to finish this cheats giving. This is meal number three. Just look at it, everybody. Thanksgiving pizza, I'm a culinary genius. What can I say? I'm a culinary genius. We are gonna start with the pizza first if you haven't been able to tell already. Stay with me, all right? Stay with me. Are you still with me? Do you either love cranberry sauce or you hate it? Ooh, just look at it, yum, yum. Take some gravy out just like that. Cheese definitely did not melt the way that I wanted it to melt. I never get it right, I never win. Step one is take cheese, like so, so you have a cheesy pizza. This is how you Thanksgiving in style. I'm doing it, are you ready? I'm doing it, I'm doing it, people. I am completing this Thanksgiving dinner, like so. Look at that, it's beautiful, it is beautiful. Let's try it out, and there we are, people. Let's do this in three. Two, one, let's go. That is wonderful. You know what's coming, other than gravy on my nose. W, O, W moment. Woo, beautiful. Oh man, That's a lot of grease. Ooh. If you guys haven't tried this combo yet, you gotta, you gotta try it as soon as possible. And I don't even like cranberry sauce. I don't even like it. All aboard the gravy train. Toot toot. Whatever. Nice pizza pizza. All right guys, well the pizza's down. Now, I think we gotta go after these apple pie Oreos. Just so you guys know, I've heard very, very mixed things about apple pie Oreos, but being that it's Thanksgiving, I wanted to put them in a Thanksgiving video. Oh my goodness, they smell absolutely sensational. Look at that apple pie Oreo goodness right there. Only 1,400 calories in this entire package of them. And that is the center of the apple pie Oreos. Let's try that. Wow, it actually tastes like apple pie. And here I was thinking I'd never touch an Oreo again after the Oreo overload challenge. And speaking of overload, you guys gotta comment down below what you wanna see for the next overload challenge. It's gonna be really, really, Sweet. Very, very sweet. <sighs> Try out this combo already. Apple pie Oreo, cranberry sauce. Okay. No good. Cool. The Oreos are all down. Everyone say bye bye to Julius. Bye, Julius. You lived a long, prosperous life. All the vegans are probably hating me right now. I'm sorry, vegans. Julius is down. I told my Snapchat crew, I said I'd put you guys in a video. And also, I want to give a big shout out to everybody that's joined the Electric Empire community. If you guys haven't yet, you guys can hit the join button right next to the subscribe button. Everybody that joins the exclusive Electric Empire community gets shout outs every month, gets access to monthly Q&As, and many, many more. And it's a great way for you guys to give back to me as a creator. So, if you guys haven't yet, be sure to check it out. It helps support the channel. Owen Chartland says, Eric, I love your videos, and I think you're an amazing guy. Keep up the great work, man, and the food you consume is unbelievable. Blows my mind how much you can eat. Groovitude says, Eric, your videos are a highlight of my day. Proud of you and how far you've come. Much love and respect. 
Much love to you as well. You are simply the best and only person on YouTube I support via subscription. Thank you for all you do. KT Forever 02. Much love to the Electric Empire community. And we did get some snaps as well, people. Love your videos. Keep up the good work, man. I will. Thank you very much, Greg. I'm going to be watching you on the big screen today, so yeah! Hey! Hi, Eric. I just want to say good luck on your challenge. Just some dude eating junk. <laughs> and just like that, we're done with snaps today. Everyone, get back to this. But we must push forward. I'm just sitting here feeling extremely stupid that I bought a no sugar added pumpkin pie and I'm gonna get roasted down in the comments below, just like I always do. Look at that exquisite specimen. It is a pumpkin pie. It looks like a pumpkin pie to me. Let's taste it. That is a no sugar added pumpkin pie. And no, kids at home do not eat pie with a knife. That's bad. If there's one thing I've always wanted YouTube, it's to be on trending. Just once. Just make, just, it's my one wish. Just one, just one wish. Tip. You guys know it would go fantastic with this. Absolutely fantastic. Well, guess what? I think you already know because we're going there right now. We're going there. You have a Reese's Outrageous Bar, one of the best candy bars of all time. Not a Butterfinger, but it'll do. And then you break it open like so, just like that. Just like that. Then you put it on top of the no sugar added pumpkin pie for optimal deliciousness. Woo! W O W moment. Oh my goodness. Amazing. That's how you do it, people. That's how you do it. Don't judge me, okay? Don't judge me. All right, people, the pumpkin pie is done. No, I'm not eating cranberry sauce and gravy. Oh my goodness gracious. That is that is basic indeed right there. These things look massive, dude. Let's just see what we got inside right here. Breaking it open. Oh my goodness gracious. Look at the inside, people. It's like a coffee cookie. Oh my goodness. That is basic indeed. It's basically delicious. That's all I see right now. And we're about to do this just like that. Let's finish this out, people. Goodness gracious. That tastes like it's 650 calories per cookie. Actually, probably 700. Actually, probably more than that. And that is it. Oh. 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 That is a work of art right there. Let's do it. Final, final piece of the cookie this year. Actually, two pieces because it's a massive cookie. Oh, just like that, everybody. That is the end of cheats giving for this year. Total calories for everything we've consumed are gonna be like right there for you guys. And total macros are gonna be like right there for you guys. I will say it does feel good to be back to another cheat day. You guys seem to like these a lot. If you guys did enjoy the video, be sure to let me know down in the comments below. And also, let me know what you guys wanna see for Christmas. I feel like I'm in my third trimester right now. If you guys want to see the aftermath. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Hit the notification bell right next to that subscribe button so you guys get notified whenever a future upload happens. Follow me on my social media, Facebook, Snapchat, Twitter, Instagram. You know the drill. Thanks again for watching the video, everybody. Roll it.